he came to this field, littered with stones and thorns, and picked up his first rugby ball. It was a refuge from the violence, drugs, and chaos beyond the stadium walls. This place um, itself, if it wasn't around, if there wasn't a team, if there wasn't sport, and the community of sport, I don't know where I would have ended up. I was really happy. I enjoyed myself. It, it inspired me, and it taught me who I am. Then came a major plot point. At age 12, playing on those pocked fields, he was spotted by a coach and offered a scholarship to the elite, mostly white, gray junior school, just 15 miles away. And just the building, you know what? But looking at it, I mean, everything I need is here compared to what I'm used to. He says that for the very first time, he was given socks, a toothbrush, three meals a day, and his own bed. That must have been such a culture shock to you. Yeah, it was. But the toughest thing was when I had to go home on weekends. I'll go back and sleep on the floor. And I told myself right there and there, I'm not letting this go. I'm, I, will, this, I will not fail. He added a carapace of muscle, trained hard, and by the time he graduated from school was drafted to play professional rugby. 